Hi guys, we're back. Or I'm back. <laughs> I don't know what we is. Uh, so I guess we'll go over to that bus stop that we missed. Oh, I'll keep one. We'll also miss this one too. This is an Axel poster. An ad for an energy drink featuring the hero Axel. It reads, quench the thirst, drink a bear. I'm wondering what's uh, gonna be over here. Oh, I did, did I talk to this guy? Mateo. This town is filthy. People everywhere bring in the dirt from outside on their shoes. Can you believe it? Not me. I go barefoot. Oh my days, that is disgusting. You feet. I need a bath. All visitors to town should have to wear carpet slippers by law. What well, would happen to those who don't? Hot coals. Oh, jeez. Poor Lint. There must be a way to clean up these streets. Why well, install cleaning stations at every gate? Hose off visitors. That's it. I'm writing a strongly worded letter to the queen right now. I just need a quill. <laughs> well, don't let that guy find a quill. What is this? Is this about statuses? Handy dandy list of ailments that can be inflicted on enemies. Anger. Okay, so this is a status I wasn't too sure what it meant. Enemies will have a lower defense, but will be faster for the amount of turns indicated. Okay, so it's like the opposite of slow. So their movements are faster, but they take more damage. That's interesting. Bored. Oh, not sleep. The enemy will skip its turn for the amount of turns indicated. So you can still hit an enemy while bored? That's, I, I'm just confused why it's bored, not sleep. The enemy slowed for amount of turns indicated. Duh. Yeah, they say that, but it still does some wonky stuff with their interactions. There's also a section on ailments that can be inflicted on heroes. Okay, that's interesting. So their status is only on enemies and on heroes. So does that mean if I fight a hero, are they my enemy, or are enemies just the things I encounter that aren't here? It's confusing. <laughs> Possession. Your buddy will skip turns for the amount of turns indicated. Okay, so just a skip turn. Weaken. The hero will take more damage for the amount of turns indicated. Okay. Poisoned. Okay, yeah, I know that. Is that just all the statuses in this game? Hmm. It's interesting. Anything in this little hut here? Or er, shack? Doesn't seem I can get in there. Okay, well I guess that's it. Let's uh, talk to this guy first maybe? Gustav. Hmm. Went the way? Might be cold. Mm-hmm. Some might say cold. For a vacation I say is, well um, don't knock till you try to. Yes siree. I don't know what kind of voice I should be doing for this guy. Odd place though. Dark. Sparkling lights, friendly folk, mightly friendly, yes sir. They had these flash playing sparkers, very pretty up in the sky, I says to them. What's that now? Tell me it's a work of fire. Very pretty. Maybe I should have done like a Milwaukee accent. I don't know if I could do a uh, Milwaukee. We could use some loud and flashy works of fire around here. That'd make them up. That'd make them all sit up, pay attention, yes sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have done a... Uh, Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee accent. Min that's probably Minnesotan. Oh, this is very pretty. The tour bus! This place is very nice. <laughs> oh no. The bridge! <laughs> that felt intentional. It definitely did. Yeah, wh what were the odds the bridge would collapse just now? The tour guides know all the local legends. We gotta follow them. Gah, come on, there's always another way around. We just need to find the right person to ask. Also, you're a salamander nearby, too. Oh, wait, I think I could see from here. I saw a snot bubble. Also, uh, I hope they fix this with the skins not being saved. <laughs> it's a little snowman. Oh, well, rip snowman. That guy spits out poison? He doesn't spit out, like, an ice? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, because he's sick. I see. 
Snow Trolls, Cold Slime. Um, so let me try hit that new special move I got. Also, I could do RT. It's kind of weird, uh, because it's on the right trigger, and I guess it's feeling the, the, like, the analog part, or whatever it's called when you pull down on the trigger. It's, like, constantly activating instead of just RT. So that's kind of why it's freaking out there. Okay, Whisk. Summon a Whirlwind. Okay. Um, is it doing something? Um... Doesn't seem to be doing any damage. Is it supposed to... Okay, now it does damage? That's kind of weird. Makes sense that they're all weak to... Uh, I think this is Blaze. Ooh, that's a strong attack. Holy cow. Um... Guess we'll do Flame Whip, because it's really effective. Yeah, but I don't understand how that... Uh, move is supposed to work. The special move. If there's a little bit more explanation on how that move works, that'd be cool, but... Some parts of this game don't really explain themselves that well. Let's go for... I guess Resolve if I want to try out the, uh... Boosting of special moves. I'll probably try it again, but with, uh... Is the Roast? Looking at Flint. Flint to dig here. There we go. The Salamander's here, yeah. Oh, I like the, uh, the Aurora Borealis there. It's very simple. I wanted to do one for a game I was working on. Well, actually, it's, it's more specifically because I wanted to remake... I think I might have said this on the channel in different series before. That I wanted to remake uh, Banjo-Kazooie. And I'm doing some of the small stuff first. I'm like just getting the... Uh, the character controller to work well. And then from there I can start... Um, I'll need to work on Spiral Mountain as base. And then from there... Oh, that's ice. Cool. Um, yeah, from there... I can obviously just... Do all the rest of the worlds, but the hardest part is just going to be making the models. Because I did find a, a YouTuber... Who he... Made... A lot of remakes for... Banjo-Kazooie. Only a couple levels, though. But, uh... Let's go for a cliffhanger. Yeah, he did it, and I uh, found a cool resource called Banjo's Backpack, which there's this guy who makes a lot of cool Banjo Kazooie mods called uh, Kirko, and he, he makes really cool stuff. And apparently, he I think he developed Banjo's Backpack so that you can mod stuff for Banjo Kazooie, which is really cool. And then I learned some other stuff too. Like there's this website called uh, Let me check real quick. I think it's like. I'll put it in the on the screen right now what the website's called because uh, but I'll let you like look at up uh, video games and go like like a no clip I think it's like no clip something it's a really cool website and uh, they have Benji Kazooie's Spiral Mountain there and a bunch of other games too where you can just like look around the world map or like a level map just look around just for um, understanding how the level design is and that's really cool. That's not that great of a reward there. In my opinion, but whatever. Oh, she's over here. Okay, so uh, one thing I wanted to say about her is I kind of glossed this over, but when we were talking to the professors in the... I want to say it was the last episode. Might have been the episode before that. But when we talked to the professors and they gave us that little slideshow about the, the lore of the game and they had the goddess. I think this is the goddess. Because it's like two snake heads, and the eyes of the snakes look very similar to hers. And also, since we're collecting little salamanders, I don't know if they have like this idea that salamanders turn into snakes or something, or that there's like some relationship between salamanders and snakes. Anyways, um, 
also, the game starts off with her, so obviously she's in a very important character to this game, so it's also another thing. Also, we don't know her name. So I'm just assuming she is like the goddess character. But yeah, I'm gonna be uh, slowly working on maybe Banjo Kazooie and then the other game I'm trying to work on too. The Banjo Kazooie thing is just like a for fun thing for me. Because you can't really monetize that stuff because obviously that stuff is owned by a lot of other people. Um, let me try uh, if I can do that roast, but enhanced. I assume it's just going to double the effectiveness of it. It added an extra one, but it wasn't that great. Because I'm still trying to work on my racing game. That's going to be a small game. The one thing I need to always keep in mind when I'm making projects is try to keep the scope small. Because it's... <laughs> If you ever want to make something, and you always get these ideas for stuff and you just con constantly add to it. That's when you're going to just <laughs> never be able to make stuff. Okay, so nothing there. Well, there is something here, but we need a new partner to get something there. Did I miss anything else? Oh, I think I got everything so far. There is a house over here, I believe. Oh, no. Who's up there, okay. Yeah, but oh, if you're ever making something keeps so the scope small that we don't um carry away with stuff. Hey there, Mr. Uh Forest Keeper? The bridge? Bridge collapsed. Oof. Not surprised. That old bridge been crumbling for years. Sven. Like that stereotypical Swedish name. Uh yes, it's told them to replace it. But it's picturesque, they said. Adds charm. Sven, they say. The tourists love it. Do you know if there's another path to cross the river? Oh, there is one other way. I know the way. Great. Just point us. It's a terrible, perilous way. Those who ever go into the misty woods never come out. Maybe they... Oh, it's Lent. <laughs> Maybe they uh, just um came out the other side? Not that I managed it. Ha. Then why do they hear the murmuring at night, hmm? Last souls, whispering to me, turned into bees, doomed to roam the for- uh, doomed to roam for all eternity. I don't know what kind of voice I'm doing here. I'm trying to do Swedish, but I suck at that. But if you kids truly dare to enter these woods, heed my warning. Your only hope is to follow the rabbit, lest the mist engulf you and trap you forever. I should put more emphasis on forever. Right, the rabbit. We uh, we should go. Got any other dialogue, Sven? Oh, I see. It's all well. Thanks for the warning, old man. But this whisper sniper is no better. And off the woods you go anyway. Well, don't come crying to me when your soul is eaten and cursed to the room. The ro uh, uh. Well, don't come crying to me when your soul is eaten up and cursed to roam the midnight lands. Ah. <laughs> Standing out here is giving out warnings all day until my back aches and my feet creak. And do these pesky confabulation tourists ever take it seriously? Do I ever get a word of thanks? No. The more I warn them, the more they want to go. <sighs> uh, some folks just can't wait to become lost souls haunting the doom's footsteps of unwary travelers. I hear a salamander. Over here? There it is. Oh, got rid of that guy's uh, firewood, but I collected something. It looked like chili. Oh, turkey casserole. Ooh, 20 HP. That's pretty good. Can we go inside your house? Oh, my cursor. There you go. Ooh, this is a very nice house here. Simple, but I mean, if you just need to sleep, it's pretty comfy. Oh, 
Okay, so cold stock courtyard for the uh, bestiary stuff, and then high ice hamlet for the map. Well, I guess we're gonna go into this forest and get find a rabbit, I guess. I assume it's gonna be like a lost wood situation where you just get turned back to the beginning of the area. Does this get bigger if we roll it? Oh no. <laughs> oh, that would have been kind of cool. Is there an actual bunny or, or a rabbit? I don't think there's a distinction between uh, rabbits and bunnies. Oh, there's something here. I like the idea of this area where there's like mist and you can't see what's going down it. It's kind of spooky. But I like it. Oh, there's a rabbit. Hello. Uh. Does I go this way? Hmm. I feel like there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm missing out on. <laughs> also, there's a candy cane. And I saw the rabbit right there, too. A lot of stuff happening right now. 5WP5. I don't know if they should consider it, but I think I would if I was making the game. That if you have uh, the Gourmand, I think that's the name of it, or the Gourmet badge, that. Oops. Oh, dang it. That if you have the Gourmet badge, these values should probably update too. Okay. So, am I going the right way because I see the bunny? Oh no. Yeah, that explains it. Oh, so these are like checkpoints. So where does this take me? Oh, I guess I'll leap back here. Oh yeah, I got the fast running now too, so backtracking isn't too bad. Oh, I see those dust particles are supposed to denote where different, uh, well, one where checkpoints are and then two uh, the various paths you can go on. Okay, that makes sense. Whoa! <laughs> I heard them attack, but I didn't see where they were. I think I need to switch it out so that, uh, Loaf, uh, is the first character, because I think I have to switch to the partner, is the main attacker. Yagi's pretty good starting off, though. I think I will switch it over, though, to have a low start. So, there we go. This kind of reminds me, uh, there's a part deep in the ocean. I forget where exactly, but there's, um... Where there's like very deep water and it looks like super dark, kind of like Goo Lagoon from SpongeBob, but essentially it's like very uh, salty water. Well, there's a bunch of other stuff, but like very salty water that it's like more dense than regular water, and so it looks super dark. And all the other dangerous, um, I guess, minerals or something in it, uh, it essentially just causes like death to any creatures that fall into it. It's really weird. It looks like water in water. If something crazy can be, uh... It's just so crazy to see video of it. Also, the holder? Is that like a Swedish? Because I know, I think snow trolls are a thing in the Swedish mythology or folklore, but I've never heard of the holder. Ooh, exact, exact level up. That was nice. Um, let's get the resolve up one more time. And then we get that backpack. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, backpack leveled up. So now I can hopefully use everything now. Oh, that thing just kind of fell up from the sky. Let's see. We got a blue pear and maybe an extra candy cane. Let's see. Hmm, that's pretty cool. 
So now, oh man, we got a lot. So is the next backpack gonna unlock everything? Um, well, let's see. Oh, giant ring too. Oh man, I don't know if we're gonna fit everything here. Um, well we can get rid of fish. Let me uh, reorganize this real quick. Okay, this is what I got. I got the giant ring, the nut bow, the shish kebab, uh, the fire whip, the knife, the meteoric knife, the saber blade, or saber sword, the frost blade, and then the... It's the fish hammer. So I can't hold on to the... or I can't use the sickle and the kitchen knife, but since I kind of have repeats of those, I didn't put it on. Uh, also, I noticed 11 out of 30, so there's 19 more weapons I can use. But I, I do have a limit on my backpack, so I guess I gotta choose between that stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe we knock down that log later. I like these trees. I just like the large round trees. I don't really see huge trees where I live because it's a desert, so. Also these, uh, is that a tombstone? I'm guessing I gotta go this way because I haven't seen a rabbit that going that way, so. Plus I haven't been pushed away. Yeah, that definitely looks like it goes nowhere. Look at all these tricks to uh, throw me off the wrong path. But I can hit this. <laughs> also, I don't know if uh, changing the cards out actually does something different. Like if I have a uh, dub here as my flea option, does it do anything different or if it's just for looks? Because I think this is just for looks kind of thing. Oh, let's try giant ring. Oh yeah, it's, it's very good single target damage. I know that that character is weak to it, but... Go for Inferno here. I don't think it's going to kill the... Uh, Herlder? Elder. At least we get to see what they do. I wonder if they're like some sort of ice sprite or ice pixie kind of thing. That's what it feels like. What? It just showed a skull? What the hell? I gotta check that out next time I attack one of those characters. Or enemies. High Ice Hamlet, continue eastward, Boreal Bridge, head to the left. Misty Wood Cemetery, trace back your steps until you see a gate surrounded by tombstones. Oh, huh, I did see one tombstone. Also, another gate I can't break through unless I have Jester, I'm assuming. Oh, do they got defense? Oh yeah, it does. Shows that right there. I never noticed that. Oh yeah, when she does die. Her death animation is just a pile of bones? That's kind of crazy. I wonder if that also plays into the lore of that character too. I guess when I find it out later in the bestiary. Okay, that's gonna take me there. Um, let me go to the left.
But this just brings me back to the beginning. Oh, the Boreal Bridge, that's where it started. I'm so stupid. I guess I can look for that tombstone spot. I found a tombstone here. Maybe this will take me there? Um... This just this warm me back to another spot. Oh, there is some cemetery. Yeah, this looks like a cemetery. Can't read any of these, though. Oh, is that a weapon? Looks like it, but I can't pick it up. You're a salamander, though. Oh, I wonder if that was all just for a salamander. Man, that's a shame, because it looks like this is a weapon I can pick up. Maybe I come back here later? At least I know where the cemetery is, at least. Because it is a bit odd that one gravestone is there. Okay, well, I guess I've seen everything I can see for the time being. So good, uh, high ice hamlet. Yeah. Ooh, well, the thing's covered up by now. Look at that storm, that's pretty crazy. It's a reindeer. I think I've seen reindeer maybe once, but I'm not too sure. I've seen elk, and those things are pretty scary. You gotta be careful with those guys. What the heck are you? You look so cute. Pow pow. So many winks of sleep. Can I put you down for? It's only 20 clovers. Sure. Your bed is ready whenever you want it. I even put chocolate on your pillows, so you have to brush your teeth twice. Oh man. Is there actually chocolate there or no? I wonder if this is Snore? Oh, Snom. <laughs> oh, hello. You surprised me. Ho ho ho. Sorry, we didn't mean to spook you. Oh, no need to apologize. I just didn't expect anyone to make it here with all the snowfall we've had. A bit of snow can't stop us, cat. Yeah, well I get complaints from tourists that the paths in the highest hamlet are too snowy. They'll come here for a windy escapade, but don't want the snow in their boots. <laughs> But you made it here, so you must not mind. Perhaps you could help me. Hmm. All doors are the same. If you can remove all the snow piles in the hamlet, I will give you a very special meal. Should it be too hard, or should I say, snow problem? Ho ho, you have my many thanks. Okay, I saw a cat. Here. Oh, it's Lana. I wonder if she would have been here if I didn't help her. Mom, Pa sent me to kickstart on our family-run chain of snack joints. So I headed out into the wild blue wilderness to seek a f in So I headed into the wild blue wilderness to seek a fortune. And let me tell you, it's so ding dang darn cold out here. Who knew it'd be so hard to keep the stove lit? You look half froze. Care for some tasty hot snacks to warm your bones, or an icy local delicacy? So I already got this. I haven't got this yet. Frosty Pop. Well now, the recipe is a family secret, but I can tell you a little about it. A refreshing ice skill of sugary goodness. Eat it too fast and your brain will want words. Restores 10 WP. Sure. And then looks like some hot chocolate. Hot chocolate has been frozen. Sure. Ooh. You know what? I probably should have waited to buy the stuff until I like, get the discount in this area. Mmm. Oh, eh. Almost a doze off. Are we in Uptown yet? Oh, Royal Town seems unusually empty for this time of year and evening, and the winter is setting quickly. 
You know, I don't think this is a royal town at all. I can see so many stars. Oh, my stars, have I been abducted? I always knew they were real, the little green gray man from the skies have taken me to their own planet at last. Wait, are you one of them? You're more doughy than I expected. What a strange alien language. Bleep blew up to you too, great leader. Ooh, it's one of the fast travel spots. I think it's this one. Yep. Do I have to use lint on this? Ah, that, I guess that makes sense why lint popped up for that conversation. Ooh, I like the lighting there. I don't scare easily, and I love to be frightened. Enough about creaky old houses and squabbling families. I want to hear about the bloodshed, the murders, the horror. Yeah, a lobe's face is like appropriate for this kind of conversation. <laughs> the unexplained and mysterious is fine for beginners to the genre, but for true fans like myself, only the glorious Grizzlies tales give me the shivers. There's so few really good horror stories out there. I hope I haven't heard them all. That's the one horrifying thing for her, huh? Otherwise, I might have to make a few of my own. No, don't like actually make them. Like, write them down, but don't actually cause them. Also, I need to pet that cat. Oh, there was a cat in the uh, farmlands where Lynn's family lives. So I think there was a cat there. What is this? Sawawang? Oh, saw a ring. I see. Let me run down the specs. One of the demented inventions of Dr. Wowie. <laughs> oh, like Do Dr. Wily? Coyote? Or not Coyote, but Dr. Wily from Mega Man. Tearing for those on the receiving end, but unfortunately not much better for the one having to catch it when it comes back. Should I bag it up to go? I don't get the money for that now. Your salamander. I like this village a little bit more than uh, the llama village. Llama village didn't really have much there. Oh. Was I supposed to collect it from that side? <laughs> I don't think so, but whatever. Oh, I like you can see the reflection on the ice. That's kind of cool. is this cave until we get, uh, Jester. <laughs> the little kid. Wanna play Ice Monster? Pa, I wonder if he's related to the Pow Pow kid. Okay, you ready to run, kid? Rawr! Neat. I'm Ice Monster, you run. Rawr! Ice monster will eat you and all your socks. What? <laughs> yeah, my little brother Pao is cute, and I have to watch him very closely. He's as fast as the wind and gets into everything. The moment I turn around, he's up top of Uncle's roof, trying to climb down the chimney. Always wanting to share his lunch with horrifying beasts deep. Always wanting to share his lunch with horrifying beasts from deep forests. Yesterday I found him trying to roll hot coals into snowballs to make hot balls. Oh my god. That is that is so crazy. <laughs> Ooh. With the snow trolls that we saw. Very pretty illustration from the artist John Boreal is displayed on the wall. If only the misty wood trolls were half as gentle as the one in the drawing. How I get into the house where that salamander was. Oh, I just go this way. Oh, it's Kokoi. She got a she got a thing for Kokoi. The 
cold stocks. Hmm. Ah, the stories I could tell. Cynthia Coldstock has lived in Coldstock Cottage all her life. I know her since she was a girl. Girl? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, she used to come into the hamlet to swap stories with us. Tell us all about Clayton and his curses. Nowadays, she's turned morbid. Talk about spirit voices, seeing things beyond the veil. Hmm, that's what living in a haunted house will do to a person, I suppose. I wonder if uh, all their names are a reference to something, but I don't know. It, is it a bit cold for this? A warrior must not let external factors disturb their focus. Easy for you to say in all those furs. Do they not? Are goats or llamas not well equipped for snowy temperatures? I thought they would. I take ice baths every morning. You're gonna fight the cold, all kinds of discomfort. Acknowledge it. That is the way to great inner strength. Kakoi, what are you doing here? You're gonna turn into a popsicle. Yagi. Oh, you're still with those kids. For your information, I'm training my mind to resist pain. And my toes to resist frostbite. How'd you get in on the tournament anyways? Or on in the tournament? Oh, well, I don't like to talk about it much. Ah, oh, well, I did warn you that. Just kidding, we won. Seriously? Yeah. We all teamed up and took down a bad guy's beefy henchman. They stole the radiant crown from the monks, but we're gonna stop them from destroying the world. So you defeated the henchman, but the bad guy's still at large? Sounds like a hollow victory to me. Like you had done better, you couldn't even beat us. Oh well, yeah, well, last time I underestimated the strength of your new friends. They boosted your abilities far beyond what you could achieve alone. I won't make the same mistake again. You're really getting on my nerves. You always look down on me. You always thought you were better than me. Not true. I just know how easily you're tripped up by your own anger. I can keep my emotions in check as all warriors should. See? There you go again. If you're so great, prove it. Let's see if you can beat us this time. S snow flings. Okay. That's interesting. The snow flings have taught me patience and to find my inner strength. I don't need to fight you to prove that. Chicken running scared again, huh? You're still childless sometimes, fine. If you need me to put you in your place, I'll do it. Prepare yourself, tell me when you're ready. I think we're good to go now. So you're ready for that rematch? Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> he still has a tad beast. Um, let's go for this. Is the music supposed to be epic or something? Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Now it's just Kakoi. I'm not really liking this fight. I was expecting more epic music, but it's just kind of uh, ambient than anything else. I think we can finish it with Yagi if we do the roundhouse kick. Oh, I messed it up a little. Toad Pact. Oh. That's kind of weird. He does the Naruto thing where he has like this synergy with frogs. Oops. Finish off with the roundhouse kick. I <laughs> kick him while he's down. Yeah, that was a ridiculously easy fight. He, he didn't improve at all. I was expecting him to do different stuff. Don't believe it. You, you beat me again? Yeah, but I mean, don't be too hard on yourself. It was all of us against you, and you put up a heck of a fight. <sighs> you certainly aren't afraid to use every trick in the book. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. You have an advantage. You're familiar with my fighting style. 
Clearly, I need to learn some new moves. Yeah, you didn't do any new moves at all. As soon as my instruction with Miss Sal is done, is complete, I'll take my training to the Forest of Roots. Alright, well, see ya.